As we celebrate WAM's 25th birthday, we've heard that there are several participants on the tour who are also celebrating birthdays this weekend. If you're one of those people, raise your hand. We're very honored, we're honored and grateful that you chose to spend your special day with us and we wish you all a very happy birthday this weekend. Okay, this is the big moment when we get to announce a very exciting grand total for the 2012 event. This accomplishment is made possible through our wonderful sponsors and the tremendous efforts of all of our riders, volunteers, and supporters. This has been a record-setting year for the Wish a Mile Tour, and I'm proud to announce a grand total of $2,030,000. We are so extraordinarily grateful for all of you, riders and volunteers, and what you've brought to this event and the success that you've made for our WISH kids. Your generosity and your care are inspiring. Micah and Lily, thank you for being outstanding hosts for the evening. Our WISH kids extraordinaire. You did a wonderful job. Excellent job. We know it's getting a little late, and normally this would conclude tonight's whammies, but this year is extra special. And we don't think you've seen the best part of the evening yet. Every dollar you raise makes a difference, and we're here to celebrate the impact that our WHAM community has on our mission. We would like to invite Beth Branvain, our top fundraising individual and captain of Team Alex, our top large team, along with Bill Doty, captain of our fundraising small team, David's Heroes, and Rob Granger from Team Taylor, up on stage for a special presentation. retirement party. <laughs> we could not think of a more perfect ending to the whammies than to celebrate with a very special wish. About two years ago, Wish Kid Michelle told us about her love of swimming and her admiration for athletes, especially Olympic athletes. They represent to her what is possible with determination to succeed and positive thinking. I am proud to announce that thanks to all of you and with generous support from our national office, Michelle, who has been a wish hero for Team Taylor the past two years, will be one of 40 wish kids from around the United States going to the 2012 London Olympic Games. So let's take a look at a very special news clip. The countdown to the Summer Olympic Games is now into the single digits. With the opening ceremonies just nine days away, Kalamazoo's Michelle Ferris is getting ready to make the trip to London, not as an athlete, but at, as a spectator. Yeah, Larry Figurski joins us with more on a wish granted. And that wish, like so many others, Brian, granted by the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Michelle's wish, coming after an unexpected hurdle on her road to the Olympic Games, ended hopes for the trip and nearly her life. I want to see the swimmers. For years, Michelle Ferris and a friend had dreamed of going to see the Olympics in Europe. We had planned out, I mean, we went through, we got hotels, we had, we looked through everything, costs of transportation. Beginning in middle school, they spent their summers earning money and setting up fundraisers. The summer after my sophomore year was going to be the big, you know, money raising, and that's when I was diagnosed. Diagnosed with osteosarcoma, bone cancer in her left hip. I'm pretty faith-based, and so I put a lot of 
my faith into, you know, God, and he has his plan. I can't change it. She underwent an aggressive chemotherapy schedule for more than nine months. She had a rough go of it. She was in the hospital over 100 nights, and uh, she had many complications. Along with the chemo, Michelle underwent two surgeries, one to remove part of her lung, the other to remove and replace her left hip. The eight inch scar, a permanent reminder. Starts about here, ends about here. The heavy dose of chemo left her with partial yet permanent hearing loss in both ears. It's mainly high pitched frequencies, so like female voices are really hard and like some instruments I can't hear. And memory issues that and may or may day. not go yeah. away. Especially with me, I was very secure in my brain beforehand, so not having that brain power afterwards. It's really, really hard. She missed nearly an entire year of high school. Right before my surgery, every student in my grade had signed a shirt in their English class. So this is what I did in chemo. I looked for everyone's name. Yet managed to catch up and graduate on time from Matawan High School this spring and will attend Grand Valley State University in the fall. I wanted to go into nursing and then later on become a doctor. I want to become a pediatric oncologist. A doctor who helps children with cancer. For now, this gregarious young lady Seven hours of Harry Potter. is simply enjoying life in remission after the Make-A-Wish Foundation granted her wish. First, they, didn't, they denied my wish for uh, world domination, so I had to pick the next best thing. <laughs> Attending the Summer Olympics in London. It means a lot. It's, it's one of those, you, I don't know the faces behind the supporters. Mm -hmm. But knowing that they're supporting me anyway, they may know my face, I don't know theirs. It's kind of like that mysterious superhero. Mm -hmm. It means a lot. The foundation very familiar to the Ferris family. We were introduced to the Make-A-Wish family when friends of ours uh, lost a daughter to a serious disease and they started fundraising for Make-A-Wish prior to Michelle even being diagnosed. And for us to be then on the receiving end is um, quite humbling. And uh, we just really appreciate everyone's time and efforts. And, um, like and, and it has really given her something to look forward to. Now Michelle, her mom Julie, father Scott, sister and three brothers will all be making the trip to London together. Without further ado, please help us welcome Michelle and her family to the stage. So, Michelle, why don't you come over here? I can't hear them talking, so I didn't know. <laughs> so, you uh, a little bit excited? Just a smidgen. Just a smidgen? Yeah. Tell us, what are you, what are you excited about? What, what, what does this mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. You know, everyone says it, but um, it truly does, because there was about nine months I couldn't do anything, and now I'm going, and I'm traveling to Europe, and I'm doing stuff, so. <laughs> That's, That's pretty cool. fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. Michelle's wish will allow her to see athletic heroes at the gymnastics and swimming venues. On behalf of our WAM riders and supporters, we're happy to present a few items for you to take and enjoy on your Olympic adventure. I do like items. Oh, you could. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm glad you like items. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, speak the truth. <laughs> 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 Miss 
Michelle, we are so happy to celebrate you and your wish tonight. We know your bags are packed for your flight to London tomorrow, and we hope your trip exceeds your wildest expectations. Your limousine is waiting outside, and we've told it to make a pit stop at MIS on your way to the airport because your dad is riding in the WAM 50 tomorrow, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Before you go, we have two surprises for you tonight. First, turn around because we have a special message for you from an Olympic swimming champion. One at the Wish a Mile Bike Tour. Love you guys. You guys are doing an amazing job. And specifically, I want to say hello to Michelle. I know, Michelle, there's a lot of people that are very proud of you right now, including me. Uh, we are thinking of you, we're praying for you, and we're so excited that you're coming to London. You're going to London, the Olympics. Is that cool or what? And I'll be there, too. I'm going to be doing the television commentating there. And uh, this is going to be my sixth Olympics. And what I would love more than anything, somehow or another, we could connect and meet each other. I think that would be really cool because I know you're a swimming fan and there's going to be a lot of cool swimmers there. Michael Phelps is going for another Olympics. Ryan Lochte. In fact, I just had lunch with Michael last week. I told him all about you and again, I'm so proud of you. Um, I know you're going through a tough time, but there's a lot of people out there that love you and care for you very much, including me. And uh, you know what? When you go to London, maybe you'll see some of these guys and women win one of these. This is my Olympic gold medal that I won back in 1984, long before you were born. Probably long before your parents were born. That's how long ago it was. So, but I'm proud of it and you'll be able to see a lot of different athletes win these gold medals, hopefully from the United States. And uh, someday or another, our paths will cross. And again, I'm proud of you. Um, have a safe trip this, trip this summer and uh, we'll see you, hopefully, fingers crossed, in London. Love you guys. Bye. I actually can't hear it all. That 10 years off there. And finally, we realize that we have a very unique opportunity tonight with hundreds of your new friends in the audience. Michelle, as you head out to your limo, we thought it would be really cool to have our first ever Wish a Mile send off party with a lot of your new WAM friends. Riders and volunteers, we're going to keep Michelle on stage for just a couple photos while you head outside to send Michelle off on her dream come true in Olympic style. Thank you. Thank you all for making wishes like Michelle's possible and for your support of WAM 2012.